What's up guys, Sinister Stalker here for a brand new video. This video, I'm just kind of just go around town, hit up some spots, see what kind of neat Halloween stuff. Got in, so speaking of Halloween, I'm wearing this new, the new Halloween t-shirt I picked up at Walmart like about two weeks ago, probably something. I might check out, which I haven't been to in a while, is Reanimated Records. So I might check that place out and hit up some spots around there, maybe like Walmart. Because something that I want to get that's for this Halloween season, I hope they have it in there to buy. Maybe check out Target, because I've only really seen all the stuff in Target, and that's some pretty cool things in there that I want to get from my pad that I might get if they have it over there. So it's all in the same area, and just maybe some thrift stores too. And see so kind of maybe they might have some cool retro Halloween stuff I can get up on and get and decorate. But yeah, check out the fit though. Yeah, man, gotta get that, you know, the fit, the champion shoes, the jeans going in the shirt. Oh, yeah. As you can see right up here, boom, boom, boom. Just like that, just like that. But I gotta finish this up, though. I'm not done yet. I gotta do one more thing. I gotta do, I gotta do one more thing. And since I'm wearing a Halloween shirt, you gotta get on some of that Halloween Man X. I know it's like a weird name. This stuff is really good. Let's get some sprays going. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it smells like... It was like coffee, a slight coffee note and a little bit of sweetness. It's great for the fall time, though it's kind of hot out right now. But you know what? I'm going to wear it anyway. It smells hella good. And you know, wear a Halloween t-shirt. Halloween. Might as well do it, you know. But now let's get going. Hit up the stores so we can find. And let's, let's have a good time. All right, here we go. We're going to hit up Reanimated Records first. Then from there, maybe the antique shop I always go to. Maybe over there. Possibly, if not. I'm going to Target, Walmart, and maybe a couple of thrift stores. Let's go in here now. And see what kind of goods they might have up in here. It's been about a few couple months since I've been here, so let's do it. All right, inside are reanimated now. Check out this old school boombox cassette deck CD player, 40 bucks. That's actually not a bad deal. If it works really good, I might have to get one of those because I have this super cool. And here is all some candles, and of course, the movie area. They have a plethora of DVDs and Blu rays and box sets like this Friday the 13th one I see right up here. Area Midnight Horror Show from a Code Red and a couple Code Red. Code Red ones, some Vinegar Syndrome stuff. Don't go in the woods. These have a pretty good selection of like Vinegar Syndrome stuff here. And sometimes you can find some really good deals on some stuff. Like I got the Halloween set here. Crazy, crazy deal for like a hundred bucks. You know, it's like insane. Meet the Feebles. I do have that DVD. Uh, pretty cool, fun Peter Jackson film. I think his first one was that one. Or either that or Bad Taste. I think Meet the Feebles is his first one. Let's see what else they have in here. Kind of eyeing some stuff. And look at this, I got a brain damaged dress for all you horror ladies out there. I got some t-shirts, records, some tapes over there. I'll check those out a little bit later. I got some toys up here, some old school. I don't know if that's old school, but you get some NECA figures out of the box. Jason, Leatherface, and of course Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. That looks cool. 40 bucks. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You get Mars Attacks toys. Look at this Mars Attack gun. Look at this thing, this cool like laser gun from the movie Mars Attacks, 30 bucks on a bad deal. That is super cool and retro, I love that. That's awesome. Then right here on this uh, top of the shelf, I have a bunch of DVDs laid out. This is mostly like the stuff they get in brand new for like that day and they put them out just for the sale. So there's a whole bunch of these ones up here. Pretty good selection. Then right up over here by the poster section, check out this from Spectrum v Video VHS promotional poster. Great artwork. I remember seeing these tapes a couple of times for sale throughout the years. Don't have any though. That's a great looking poster. I also have really cool posters here. I got some just some concert photo pictures and posters. I'm trying to find some more movie ones. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a couple more for my living room or my bedroom. Look at this one. A Charlton Heston. I never heard of this movie. It almost looks like the Mummy. The way that looks like like the original Boris Karloff Mummy. The way the mummy figure looks right there in the middle. Sort of as that look. 30 bucks, not bad for a 1980 poster. Turkish movie. Uh, Fred Savage, the wizard. Original wizard poster. Video store poster. 50 bucks, man, ouch. I would get that if it was like a little bit less. That is pretty cool though, man. That is a great poster. Love me, the wizard. Uh, what else did that appear? A bunch of different variety of stuff. Some, some comedies, some horror, a bunch of things. Frankenstein, the movie. Uh, that's a good one. And then what else they have up in here? And right up here, let's go check this other last little bin of posters. This one's a foreign uh, name of the one. It's like a different foreign poster. It's pretty cool. A Campbell Girl one, Amazon. Phantasm poster. That is rad. That's super cool. It. Little Monsters. Now they have the Wizard. Now they have Little Monsters. That is so cool. How much is this thing? 75 bucks. Oh, man. I, 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 would, I would love that poster. That is so cool. Look at these Devil Horns. That's cool. Some Walkmans. 
and some VHS Big Box, Zombie Lake, pretty bad movie, but great wizard video cover. And look at this one, this is pretty cool, Return of the Zombies. That's a pretty original wizard right there. All right, I left Reanimated Records. Now I'm over at the antique shop, La Mesa Antique Shop. I always gotta go here when I hit, hit Reanimated Records, it's like tradition. So I'm gonna go in there and see if they have any like any like old school Halloween stuff to get, like blow molds or like little cardboard casts. Never know, they might have some cool stuff in there for a decent deal, who knows? But yeah, it was, a, it was really cool stuff in Reanimated Records. I didn't get anything, like I said, I didn't get anything in there. But let's go check this out and see what they got. Check out this helm, it looks crazy. So I got the glass head and you get the helm for 175 bucks. That's kind of cool. I see like something in the Ian Jones and the Last Crusade. You got these creepy horns, like like devil horns or something. And you get over here, it looks like a, like a mad scientist lab with these little beaker, like a beaker and all this stuff, like something you'd see in uh, Reanimator. That's pretty neat looking though. That's cool. Down this end, and hopefully they have some Halloween stuff out. I'm hoping they have like, Maybe some retro Halloween stuff. That'd be really cool for a good price. I love, I love those old school Halloween things. Even just to look at, I don't buy anything, but I do want to get some stuff like that for my pad. So hopefully they have some stuff and go up this way. I think the Halloween stuff might be in the front area. Let's go see. I want to see like a little section here. I don't know what, these like little weird plastic uh, pumpkins. I'm not sure what year these are. You got a bag of three large and three small for five, pretty much five bucks. Kind of cool, but not really what i'm looking for they're kind of neat though kind of neat they're like kind of a creepier look i would definitely get them look at this like little snow globe look at this guy that's kind of neat very i'm not sure that year that is but it looks, it definitely looks kind of old and they have do have some stuff up here like at the the chilling thrilling sounds like record and you get this weird little pillow <laughs> look at this thing this little odd pillow that's kind of neat looking. Maybe something like that. I'm not sure yet. You got this old school pumpkin spice thing and this little, like a little pie dish. Let's see if they have anything more like that. I'm trying to find if they got a whole bunch of other stuff. Look at this thing. This little lantern. Like a black cat. That's kind of weird. I've not seen one of those like that. It looks kind of old too. Wait, it looks, I'm not sure how old it is, but it looks, it looks kind of old. Let's see what they have over here. That's kind of, it's not Halloween, but it's kind of neat looking. This is all seashells, like a wreath. Those like weird trolls in here. <laughs> Look at those ones, big ones. Like a San Diego chicken like statue. Huh. And this thing, I have no idea what the heck, like a creepy kid bust. That's kind of strange. There's like a Santa troll. And then yeah, some little odds and ends. Nothing too major Halloween wise. I thought there'd be a little bit more, but there's not. Let's pull it up or maybe in the back. I don't know. Mickey Mouse. And of course, I always remember these back in the days. These Mickey Mouses right up here, like Fantasia ones. I remember seeing those a lot when I was a kid growing up. Those were, those were the jam to get back when. I also have up here. I always have like little this NWO, <laughs> Hulk Hogan brother. That's pretty funny. WCW Hulk Hogan. 15 bucks. It has the WCW. Uh, World Championship Wrestling on there from 1999. That's pretty funny, dude. He even has like the belt, the little belt he would wear for his back. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Now I got this little toy area, this little cubby hole, all kinds of toys. Pez dispensers, look at all these Pez. If you're a fan of Pez, they have the Pez all boxed up. And these, uh, sometimes you know, I always look through here because sometimes you never know what you might find mixed in with like whatever stuff. These like Hot Wheel cars and Look at this, I don't know what the heck that is. There's some stuff in the glass cabinet. This is a ton of stuff there. They definitely have like some of the big, most toys I've seen in an antique shop. Like, like they have a lot of odds and ends of toys, which is pretty neat. Because you never know what you might find uh, retro-wise, which is fun. All right, so left the antique shop. I did find something in there. Pretty cool, actually, for like $10. I got this right up here. Old school, like these little animatronic witch things. I used to have one kind of like this as a kid. And they came in the box, I mean, $10. It has, it has like these, like that very 90s colors. And it's a battery operated. I believe this is from 94. Yeah, here you go. 1994 at Walmart. So you, you'd buy this at Walmart back in the day. Halloween, I, like the, I love these colors with like the hot pink, purple, and green. Here's a side view of the box. Love these things, only 10 bucks. So I was like, I had to, get that up here let me show a little bit better light and look at that thing how, how to get that it looks cool she's holding the skull looks like it's brand new inside 
and it does still work actually so that is a cool one just to have for this time of year dude ten dollars that's a good deal i don't think they even make these things anymore i think they i'm pretty sure they stopped making these kind of things back in the 90s but i remember having one of these and i lost it when i moved out so i'm happy to have one of these again actually there's a wish just like this so very happy can't wait to light this up i think it takes two c batteries yeah so maybe i'll pop it on later and see if it went and play it for you guys all right now at walmart as you can see i'm just gonna go in there and see if they have a uh, some certain cereal i want to get i'm gonna get that monster cereal i think walmart has it, so hopefully they have some in stock and also to check out what kind of halloween stuff they have in there and there's also a target at this mall too on the other side of the mall so i'm gonna go in there too but let's go here first and see what they have these things are kind of cool i just put them in my bar maybe maybe something like that I do like this like another maybe sugar like a sugar bowl dish i do have one like that you got these little things little stuff i can hang up by the kitchen or whatever and that kind of that kind of deal these are kind of it's kind of neat too but kind of a, kind of sort of like a retro look even those too these little wall hanger things i'll maybe put these by like my window or something i might do something like that and this thing I've, I've hit this earlier it's like this loud like and there's like the Wizard of Oz trees. These are like angry, angry trees. Look at this thing. It's, it's kind of cool too. Score, they get the monster cereal. I think I will get this Frankenberry. I also have Count Chocula and Boo Berry. Yes, gotta love these. It's traditional, you, gotta, you just gotta get them. Left Walmart, picked up the monster cereal, Frankenberry. I'm happy about that. Now, let's go to Target since it's at the mall. Same spot as the other side of the mall, like Walmart's over there, Target's over here. And uh, I'm so to have up in this spot. And there'll be some new uh, Halloween stuff. I don't know. All right, at this Target, looks like they had some you know, pretty good uh, Halloween stuff out. Look at these things. These are kind of funny. Lit lemons. I think for five bucks. These like little oranges, like little like pumpkin carved looking fruit things. Is it kind of weird? Maybe I'll get one because it's kind of odd and strange. This is kind of neat right here. It's kind of cool. But maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get one of these. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what they have over here. You have your traditional little pumpkin, little light up things. I dig it. I dig it. Pumpkin eggs, pumpkin glasses. These like flutes, foam sticks. Foam sticks. I mean, I don't know about foam sticks. I don't know about glow sticks, but I don't know about foam sticks. And you got a bunch of stuff up here. This is pretty rad for the door. I got something like this, a little bit cheaper, but it's still, it's not bad. This is kind of cool though. Maybe something like that I might want to get for the, for the front door. And these are like, like a felt uh, material. And thank goodness, no music playing in the background. Always a good thing. No copyright music. This is a more little felt, little, little pumpkins. Little, like a haunted house that glows. Kind of neat, kind of creepy. Let's see what this does. Hey, old friend, over here. Help a girl out and throw me some candy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> and then there's like golden skeleton, like, like a bronze or something. You get like the serpent snake thing. More little, almost like retro looking little like blow mold pumpkins, kind, kind of in a way. Actually, this one. This one's sort of in a way. It's like a sound, too. That's kind of neat. All right, so leaving Target now and getting in there. I was going to buy one of those little weird fruit shaped jack o lantern things. They're kind of interesting looking. I was like, what the heck are these? They're kind of funny, like five bucks or something. But I hold off for now because I'm going to look around at some other Halloween like, place that sells stuff. And then maybe after that, then I'll, I'll make a decision. I'll buy some things probably like tomorrow or the next day. And I was like, yeah, I'm okay right now. I'll get that cool witch back there. And then I'm going to buy some other stuff too. But now let's go hit up some thrift shops. A couple of them I'm going to check out. I've been to in a long while and see if they have anything neat in there, like vintage or maybe some tapes or whatever. Let's go check that out. The next spot we're at right now is the thrift shops here in Spring Valley with the T, gigantic T. As you can see, and with the old school theater where I watched Teenage Mutant Turtles, the first one at years ago. But it's going there. I've been in it a while. I should have a video, like especially this one. These, these, they used to have really cool toys there, but not anymore. And as I mentioned, they used to have really cool toys. This thing I found like Swamp Thing and some other stuff like James Bond Jr. toys. And this place had rad video games, but not anymore. That was years back. But maybe they got some cool hidden gems. I see some Halloween stuff in the windows right now. Let's go in that one first, then this one. And maybe I'll find some neat 
retro Halloween goodness. And here we go. There's a bunch of little odds and ends of Halloween stuff. A little, looks like an old little cup. Nothing I really want, but it's like a, maybe, I don't know, maybe. It was like weird screen mask with, it's like blood on it or something. With an arm and someone to go in my pants. I would really suck. Let's see what they have over here. What the heck is this thing? Like a weird glow. I don't know what that is, but maybe we might, have to, we might find some weird, strange, retro Halloween odds and ends here. Look at this gigantic scream mask thing. The poor ghost face. Look at this thing. It's a big one from 2010. Look at this guy. And it lights up. And it works. I suppose it doesn't work. I guess I don't know if it works, but that says it works. That's kind of cool for five, five bucks. Maybe you get that. I don't know. Maybe. That's kind of cool though. And a gigantic mouth looks like Rocky Horror Picture Lips. I find nothing much at the uh, other the thrift store I was at. Now let's go to this one. Maybe they got some things in here. I wasn't gonna get that scream uh, light up thing. I was like, man, I think I'm okay, but maybe I'll get. It. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. It's only five bucks. But let's go in here real quick and see what they have in this spot. Games would be right here. Now they have movies and sort of some video games. It's if they change it up in here a little bit differently. I think this is old. Uh, HD, DVD, not that I ever want though, but maybe they can look through this stuff through. Some of these have like the movies in the front area, but the rest of those are a pain because it was all like stacked up. Maybe they have it more organized now, I don't know. Look through there, I'm gonna go through it a little bit and look more thoroughly. And there's like a skateboard with like a drink on it. Like this port on that. But I don't wanna step on that with my white shoes. Um, some kind of board games. It's like all like newer stuff. What the heck? That is a little weird Halloween thing, but I'm gonna go up here and see if there's any other stuff on the shelf. So little odds and ends. But yeah, actually not a whole lot of Halloween stuff. There's actually more Christmas stuff to have out throughout the store. It looks like it says Christmas stuff there, Christmas stuff there. A little bit of Halloween stuff up here, like this weird bear. I don't know what that is. And this kind of weird candle. Nothing I really want though. And then a glittery skull. It's like, what is this, wax? It's like wax for sure. It feels, definitely feels, definitely, I don't know what year this is, maybe 80s or something. I don't know, it could be, but it's definitely kind of, kind of a weird thing. There's another one up here too. This is, yeah, look at this, it's like weird wax things. They, they like, they light up. I doubt they still work, yeah, they don't work. They light up supposedly, and their hands smell like old wax. So I left the thrift shops, nothing in there I decided to get, but it's see one thing I wanted to get where I did get some hood liquor before at that liquor store over there. The great batch of hood liquor and hood drinks, like good old Fago. I have a nice plethora of Fago, ICP Fago and all that good stuff. I'm mean, gonna you know, get some ICP, you know, not ICP, but Fago Cola. And yeah, it was Thursday, only a dollar. And uh, yeah, Fago. Some to quench the thirst. Mm, actually tastes pretty damn good. All right, I am back home now, as you can see, back home. And now let's go put some batteries in that witch. And let's go, it says it works, but let's go see if it actually works. It has that retro old school sound when it lights up and that kind of fun stuff. Let's, let's go do that right now. All right, the witch, let's go see how this is, man. Oh my God. Even a little broom, the broom fell off. That's okay, the broom right there dude and it has like little witch witch legs and you get a witch ass let's go look at it oh my god it has like a little like look at this witch panties on that's kind of weird but anyway let's go put the batteries in there's no batteries in there let's go put them in and see if this works it's off and on let's go see oh yes it works dude that is loud as hell is there like a volume thing that's so loud you can have it off too. So you just have it move, which is kind of good because that's a loud, loud sound. But that is cool. Just like how I remember the same cool looking witch, little skull with the bat on it. Moves, this is the same type that I had when I was a kid. I remember buying one with my mom at Kmart, but it came with a cord. You plugged it in, but the same design, the same look, everything about it. That is awesome. Happy to get that for $10. One more time. That annoying, lovely, loud sound. Yes. There it is. You have nightmares of this, folks. It's 
So yeah, just shut that off now. But that is cool. It works. It works, dude. It works. I wasn't sure. You never know those places that can say it works. And then it's all a lie and it doesn't work. But anyway, that pretty much does it for this video. Just me kind of going around town. Check out some stuff. Made records. Some really cool posts in there, which I might get a couple of them for the weekend. Because I want to get like a different poster maybe over there. But the Motel Hell one, maybe I'll put like something else right there. So I'm trying to think which one maybe to get. So that's why I didn't get one over there today. I just kind of saw some new ones over there. So I might get one of those this weekend if I do. I'll show it in my Instagram story or a video or something like that if, if I do. And anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought of it. I thought it was real fun day. I went you know, around town. That was cool. Said the witch was a donut surprise. They had the monster cereal. I cannot wait to try this out tomorrow. This stuff is, uh, yeah, I haven't had this in a long while. Been a couple years or so since I had it. I, don't, I think the last one I, won, the last one I got was Booberry. So Frankenberry, I've not got this one in a long time. Probably since, I think I was a kid, I think I got Frankenberry. Because I always, always get Booberry, but I had to get this one out. I heard this is the best one, so can't wait to try this out tomorrow. Part of this balanced breakfast. And anyway, like I said, have a good one. I'll catch you guys later in the next one. I'll see ya. Bye-bye. And make sure to subscribe to my channel if you like my stuff. Make sure to subscribe. I had to throw that in there too. Yes, I'll see you now.